Hello humanoids this is Hash Robotics and I am Hari Shankar hope everyone is doing well in this video we are going to see about how to make a simple wifi controlled robot using raspberry pi pico w module pico w module comes with inbuilt wifi module with that you can make wifi related and iot projects let's see how to do it before that if you did not subscribe the channel subscribe the channel for more robotic project videos like and share the video if you have any doubts or suggestion you can comment in the comment section thank you these are the parts we required for chassis i'm going to use this 3d printed track chassis i have already used it for our earlier projects if you want the 3d design i have attached a link in the description you can check it if you don't have any facility to print the robot you can also use any chassis next we need raspberry pi pico module Next, L two nine eight ten motor drive. Next, a small breadboard to place the Pico W model. Next, a twelve volt battery. I'm using this three three point seven volt lithium ion battery along with battery holder. Next, few jumper wires. Next, a small switch. along with battery connector and finally double side tape this is the full circuit diagram of the robot in chassis i have already attached the dc motor next we we'll start with by connecting the dc motors with the motor drive now connect both left and right motors positive and negative pins now we can assemble the wheels and tracks with the chassis Similarly we can attach the other side of the chassis Next I am attaching here small switch on top of the chassis If you can see here The positive wire from the 12 volt battery is connected to one end of the switch and the next end will be connected to motor drives 12 volt input and negative wire from the 12 volt battery is directly connected to motor drives ground pin and also with picos ground pin Now we can connect the positive wire from the 12 volt battery with motor drives 12 volt input. Now I'm connecting the ground pin from 12 volt battery with motor drives ground pin. Now I'm connecting here jumper wire to 5 volt output pin. to power up the pico w module this 5 volt output pin will be connected to pico w module's 39 pin now 
Next, we can connect the L298 motor drive with Raspberry Pi Pico W. Use the jumper wires to connect the DC motor control and enable pins. Use the double side tape to place the motor drive inside the chassis. Now, before connecting the Pico W model, we first upload the code. Press the boot button and connect the micro USB cable along with your laptop. Then release the boot button. As you can see, our Pico module is now connected. If you open the drive, you can see these two files. Now, we need to copy and paste the MicroPython firmware. Copy the MicroPython firmware and directly paste it into the Pico W module drive. After pasting it, it will automatically close. Now, the Pico W module is ready to program. To make sure whether it is ready or not, you can print something in the console. As you can see, it's working now. Now we can see the actual coding. Here I have imported the necessary libraries, networks and socket so that we can connect the Pico module to our Wi-Fi network to create a web server. Here I have defined the GPIO pin number for servo motor control. Here I am defining the enable pins using PWM. Using this enable pins, we can set the frequency and duty cycle to control the speed of the motor. Here I am defining my SSID and password. SSID is your Wi-Fi network name and your Wi-Fi password. The functions move forward, move backward, turn right, turn left, stop to control the direction of the robot. To serve a client page, we need to create a web server. For that, we need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. In the connect function, we need to pass the SSID and password. It will connect to our Wi-Fi network and it will return the IP address of the Pico module. After getting the IP address, we need to create a socket using that IP address. Socket is nothing but a connection or a bridge between the web server and the client web page. Pass the IP address that we get and the default port number 80. It will create a connection and it will return it. After getting the connection, we can start the web server and serve the client web page. In the serve function, the web server will start host the UI client page. After serving the UI client, the web server will start to listen to the incoming request. If the incoming request is moved forward, the robot will move to forward direction. Similarly, based on the incoming request, the robot will move to respective directions. In the web page function, you can see the HTML template for the UI designs. In the HTML template, I have added few buttons. On button clicks, the each button will send a different type of request to the web server. Now we can save this python file into raspberry pi pico w module. Go to files save as and select raspberry pi pico module. While saving we should name it as main.py file. So that the pico module will automatically start executing the main.file python file. Now we can run the file. As you can see 
it is trying to connect to our wifi network once it is connected successfully it will return the ip address please note down the ip address copy and paste the ip address in any of your browsers as you can see this is the ui page to control the robot if you click on any buttons the request will send to the pico w module when i click on move forward button the request will go to web server and it the robot will move to forward direction please make sure that the browser and pico w module is connected to same wifi network after checking now we can remove the pico w module next i'm using a double side tape to place the mini breadboard on top of the robot now using the double side tape i'm attaching the 12 volt battery now we can attach the pico w module with the mini breadboard next we can do the remaining connections as per the circuit diagram connect the dc motor control and enable pins with the pico w module next connect the ground pin and 5 volt input to the pico w module now we can connect the batteries once the circuit connections are done we can close the robot using small screws Now the robot is completed it's time to test it Now it's time to play with the robot Switch on the robot and wait for few seconds After that enter the IP address that you noted down in any of the browser I'm using this Android mobile in Chrome I'm entering the IP address as you can see the UI client is now loaded Now press the direction in which you want to move the robot and play with it hope you like the video thanks for watching